guys, this is Gentleness from the Dodge Gaming Co. And a quick thing on the how to install Canon Lynx video that will be going up today. Um, basically, after you've installed Canon Linux, you ha it will ask you for a network. It will ask you if you want to install a network mirror. You press yes. It will ask you for a HTTP address. You don't need to do this. As it will muck up the installation if you do so don't do it then it will ask you to install the GUI bootloader that will that will that is necessary sorry that is absolutely necessary you need to do that then when it's installed canny Linux it will ask you for a username and password the username is root r -O, o t and the password is whatever you set earlier in the installation and i also mucked up in the video once where i said that the base memory when you first put the memory in was 300 megabytes no because canny linux will run really really slow if you do this so you have to set it to 3000 now that will be difficult if your laptop only has like three gigs or two gigs of ram if it has three gigs i would recommend 1.5 gigs if it has two gigs i would recommend one gig one gig is 1000 megabytes one and a half gig is 1500 megabytes as my laptop has six gigabytes i you i use the base memory of three gigabytes as this is quick enough for you to do everything and still keeps your computer stable while doing this so hopefully this helps you and peace and enjoy the video guys this is Dylan from youtube and today i will teach you how to install canary linux the hacking operating system so first go on to a internet tab and go to virtualbox because i'll be showing you how to install this in virtualbox Go to virtualbox.org. Please don't cut out internet. There we go. And download VirtualBox 5.0. Then type in Kali Linux and go on to the first link. Wait for it to load up. Just click downloads and download the 64 bit ISO file or the 32 bit ISO file, depending on what operating system you're on. After that's downloaded, just cross out of it and go into. Check if it's still recording. It is. Let me just delete this, guys. Remove and remove only. Go to new. It won't be like this. Type in this exactly. Kali Linux. It will recognize it as Linux. But there's one thing I need to do first, guys, which you have to do if you've already tried doing this, is go into your users file, go into um, virtual box VMs and delete the Canary Linux file. Click next. I would recommend maybe about 300 MB. Yes, create a virtual drive, virtual disk image digitally allocated dynamically allocated type in about 20 gigabytes and create it there you go there, there it is click start leave it to start and then click this little folder button right here and get the Kali Linux ISO file press start and it will run Go down to graphical install and wait for a little bit. This is what it's meant to do, guys. It may say maybe you failed, it may say invalid argument. It sorts itself out, and there you go, sorted. Just get rid of these, go through your language. I am you know, English, United Kingdom, or wherever you're from. Same with the language. Return English or whatever you have your keyboard in. This will now download all the additional components that Kali Linux needs to run, including the terminal. I will also do a video, guys, on how to set up Kali Linux because you need to get the updates from the server 
and if you didn't know Kali Linux was backtrack 5 if you ever use that so it's basically the exact same just updated detects your network hardware it doesn't get your IP guys it may say it just leave it because it doesn't get your IP there we go it just configures everything right host name put um I'll, I'll, yeah I just put Kali domain name put more something put you can put anything but for this tutorial I'm just gonna put my Kali Linux right put a password in obviously I'm not gonna show you in full because then you can hack into my Kali oh you can hack into my Kali Linux and I do not want that to happen so after it's configured the clock and detected your disks that you set up at the start here we go if you're for the more advanced advanced user you click manual but if you're ba if you're a beginner like me just click guided use entire disk and it'll actually give you depending on what you set like 1.5 gig extra so just press continue all files in one position yep you just click next Finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Write changes to disk, yes. And then click continue. It will format the partitions and start installing the system. After it has installed the system, you should just be able to use it really. So I will also do a video on how to set up Kali Linux, the updates. He updates all the software and I will even teach you maybe how to do some SQL injections, some terminal tricks, things like that. Could become a new tips and tricks series. So guys, I will see you all later. Peace.